Your children will honor you. Your children will bless you. Your children will never raise up their hands to slap you. Your children will wipe away your fears. Your children will take care of you in your old age. A time will come when you will not be able to bat again. A time will come for those that have the grace to live a very old age. A time will come when you may not be able to raise up your spoon. Yes, a lot of people in the Western world, when that time comes, they push them to the old people's homes. Yes, they push them to the old people. A lot of people in the Western world, they push them to the old people's homes. Who is taking care of in the old people's homes? Are they your children? Maid servants? But this time I'm praying for you. I'm prophesying for you. Your children will take care of you in your old age. In your very old age, you will see gray hairs. You are seeing gray on my hair. This is natural hair. You are seeing gray hair. It is not, it is not, it is not, uh, what do you call it, dye. It is gray. Maybe next one year or two years, the whole of my hair will turn into white. It will turn into gray. It is wisdom of God. It is the grace of God. I'm not interested in changing the, hair, the color of my hair. Let it all grow white. It's a gift from God. It's a gift from God. I had this gray hair as early as 28 years, 29 years. It started, it started coming. It started manifesting. Child of God, this day I prophesy unto you. In your old age, in your old age, your children will take care of you. You will live to see the great, yes, you will, you will live to see, you will live to see your children, children. And you do what? You reap the fruits of the labors of your hands. And the Lord said in Psalm 1 to 8, verse 2 unto you. Because he's telling you this morning, once again, child of God, remembering of what he said on this fourth day of July. He's telling you more than enough. More than enough. And a few minutes after that, he said, I receive it more than enough. Open your mouth this morning and say and declare, I receive it more than enough. More than enough blessings are coming your way. Yes, Jane, Zephyr, Zephyr, Jane, the Lord bless you. Jenny, 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 the Lord bless you this morning. How is your location? Keep saying it. Hallelujah is praise God. Keep praising him. Praising the Lord. Yes, always. Yes, praising the Lord. Yes, always. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Always. Hallelujah, my Lord is good. Zeni, the Lord bless you in Florida, USA. The Lord bless you there. Are you proceeding into, into the midnight? Yes, you are in US. I know USA has they have different time zones in USA, different ones. Yeah, for Daniel Stone, he said that he's approaching midnight. From where he's staying, Daniel Stone is saying that he is approaching midnight. So Zeni, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny Zephyr, yes, are you approaching midnight or have you gone beyond midnight? Because in the same US, it's on post time, it is 3 a.m. In the same US, it's on post time, it is 1 a.m. Some people, it is 4 a.m. Yours, yours is 2.50 a.m. So you have already passed midnight. Yes, but, but did you light your candle? Did you put your candle on in the midnight hours? You are still there. Did you put your candle on? Light up your candle right now, if you are still there. Light it up. Pray his words in Isaiah 60. Yes, pray his words in Psalm 24. Yes, declare his words in Exodus chapter 3, verse 2 to 5. Yes, keep on praying because God is saying this day that He's doing that His light is shining upon you. He's telling me this one that you possess the gates of the enemy, that you possess the gates of nations. That is the message I'm hearing, I'm hearing from God this morning as I was waking up from sleep. He was telling me that you possess the gates of nations, that you possess the gates of nations. Before that, He told me, Don't be afraid, as if God who knew, knew, knew what I was going through. He was telling me, don't be afraid. Yes, after my midnight hour, after lighting up my candle, because my candle was burning from midnight, from 11.45 p.m. till early this morning. But after my midnight prayer, he was telling me by 1.08 a.m., he said, don't be afraid, child of God. He said, I should tell you, don't be afraid. Yes, and again, by 2.18 a.m., he's saying, child of God, you will possess the gates of nations. Hallelujah. These are just the promise of God unto you by the reason of the prayers we are making with the candlelight. Candle signifies his presence. Candle signifies his brightness, his holiness. Yes, yes, child of God, and as, as he gave us that revelation, he said, holiness is on that fire. Yes, we made like God that mercy that morning. The next night, by midnight, I lighted up my candle. Yes, I lighted it up on Monday night. And when I went to bed, he told me, holiness is on that fire. Child of God, holiness 